Hello guys and welcome back to the How To Animate YouTube channel and in today's video we're going to be continuing on with this acting piece and getting it up to first pass. This is going to be part 3 of the series so if you missed any others please go back and watch them first. Just before we start I'd like to give a quick thank you to all my subscribers who recently passed 4,000 subscribers which is great and just to let you know that this year I have a lot more videos planned I'm going to try and up the videos to two videos a week maybe three if possible and also I have the how to animate website almost ready which is going to be a hub for all the videos, they're all going to be listed on there nicely and it also gives you an opportunity to sign up for the new tutor service and critique service. So once that's out and ready I will do a full video on that explaining how that's going to work. So yeah, keep an eye out for that. So if you caught the last couple of videos you know that we started blocking out this shot using stepped keys. So these are just roughing out the storytelling poses and trying to create as good a performance as we can in stepped before we go ahead and let the computer help us out and switch over to spline. Okay, so we are pretty close to switching over to spline now. There's just a couple of in-betweens that I think needed to be added before we continue. So what I'm looking for is anywhere there's massive changes of shape that I don't trust the computer to understand. So maybe from here to here. So I think that would need an in-between. So let's do the usual and set this to linear. So you can see how the computer is reading between these keys. It's literally just going straight down. That's not really what I want for this. I want to sort of lead with the arms and stuff. So we're going to create a brand new in-between here and just fill in that information for the computer. Okay, so we're going to bring the hips down first, like so. Going to delay the upper body and delay the head as well. And we're going to lead slightly with the arms. So this is going to be mostly leading with the hips and the arms and the sort of upper body and head. And we could probably raise the shoulders up as well. So what this in between will give us is a much more interesting snap coming down. I'm just going to increase the down position as well slightly and just rotate them. Subtle stuff, but okay, so let's see how that plays out now. Okay, so you see it's just a slightly more interesting in between here as the arms come down first. When we go to spline, I might even have the hands splay out like this a bit sooner, but We'll deal with that later. Okay. Okay, I think we are about ready to go over to auto keys. And what auto keys do is they basically try and understand what you're trying to do with it. So it works slightly better than spline or linear. So let's let's switch over and see what we got. Now this is this can go terribly wrong. <laughs> so let's see how this looks. Now I start to get a little ahead. I start to get a little something for myself, and this happens. Now I start to get a little ahead. I start to get a little something for myself, and this happens. Okay, so it's not too bad. There's a lot of work to do. And it feels a bit sort of spongy and floaty in places, but we can go through and start polishing this now. I think we've given the computer enough information to be able to continue. Right, so let's start tidying this up. So what I'm going to do is just bring it down to here. So we're just working on this section here. Now I start to get a little ahead. Okay, so we have got a tuck pose into an up position, which then acts as kind of like an anticipation into this gesture here. So I think this needs to be a bit lower to start with. Now I, okay, I'd like to just lay these arms a little bit more. Okay, I'd like to just lay this head as well, so I'm just going to move this along by a frame. Maybe just bring that down ever so slightly. I'm going to add a key here, just so it's... So the body's coming down, the head is staying fixed on him. As soon as he starts to come back up, then the head drags behind. So you get now I on the up. Okay, I still feel like the arms 
just in general need to kind of lead this a little bit more. So I'm just going to select all the arm controls and shoulder control as well. And just bring those just along a bit, maybe by a couple of frames. Okay, I'd kind of like to keep him up a bit more. So at the moment we've got this key here and this key here. So it's kind of if he starts going down, I, want, I kind of want him to stay stay up in this position for a little bit longer. Okay, and this is kind of feeling a bit weird at the moment because you see here, I'll we'll just scrub this along. His hips are completely dead, his upper body's doing stuff, which is not what I want at all. So let's just keep an eye on this section here. So at this point he's still up. I'm just going to delete that frame there. I don't think we need it. Just move this one along. Okay, let me just bring this down. Might be a bit too extreme. Now I start to get a little ahead. Now I start to get a little ahead. I've done a bit of work off camera on this. I decided I wasn't too happy with the poses at the end. They're a bit twinny. Now I start to get a little ahead. Now I start to get a little ahead. So I decided on this pose instead because I think it's slightly stronger pose than what I had before. Before both arms were very similar, very similar position. I kind of like this. I think this is working now better now. Now I start to get a little ahead. So I'm going to do a bit of work just on the head. Make sure I've got the main beats of the uh, the dialogue in there. I'm not too keen on this neck position. It looks a little bit broken, so I'm just going to straighten it out a bit. Okay, so for this, I might try and shake the head a little bit, just very subtly. And then, so we're going a little, uh, so he's up, head, and hit the head beat. Okay, let's see how that feels. Now I start to get a little ahead. 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 Okay, so I think we're going to call that first pass for this bit. Um, next video, I'll be moving on to the next bit and finalizing the posing for that and take it to first pass as well. The reason I work in sections like this is it's it's a huge piece. We're talking like 30 seconds of animation here, so it's quite a lot. Uh, so to not get overwhelmed with the entire size of it, it's, I find it easier just to break it up into little sections like this, work on it get it up to a certain pass, then move on to the next bit. And it also allows me to come back to it with a fresh eye. So during this first pass stage, I'm mostly concerned with sort of offsetting the body, depending on what the core is doing. So it's kind of a layered approach. So I concentrate a lot on the core first, sort of the up and downs and what that's doing. And then I add sort of uh, overlaps and follow throughs to all the rest of it. So at this stage, it's just trying to get a, a good basis in which to do the lip sync. So I find it helpful to get it to sort of like this stage before we start adding the lip sync on. So that brings us to the end of this video. Thanks so much for watching. In the next one, I'll be working on the next part of this and bringing that up to first pass as well. I hope you guys are enjoying this series. And if you like this video, please give it a like and don't forget to share it as well. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye for now.